Let's kick the tires and light the fires. Let's go. Let's do it. Hi, welcome to Tailgate Talks with Farmers Co-op Society. I'm Eric Herter. And I'm Paul Brunninger with an agronomist with Farmers Co-op Society. Uh, today we're going to talk to you about, about your post-flying herbicides on your soybeans. Which is getting more complicated all the time. The most important thing, before we get started, is, is to know what kind of beans you got planted. Because the day of just having soybeans is long gone. You know, with all the options out there, you can't assume anymore that your neighbor is sitting there with soybeans. It's they're a different kind of soybean. Yeah, and I think knowing for sure what they have before you spray is very important. But it's not only important for you, it's also important for the neighbor. So we don't get anybody's beans dinged. Yeah, we don't want to ding beans with beans as high price as they are today. We want every bean we can get. It seems like by the year we got a new trait coming out in soybeans. And I don't know, there's a handful at least. Yeah, yeah. started with what? Start, start with conventional. Yeah, then it went to Roundup too. Also? Also. Also. Uh, then we had Liberty Link. Then uh, came along GT LL 27s. Yeah. And then we got Extend, which was the game changer, really. Yeah. Brought, brought a whole new mode of action into that. Mm-hmm. Uh, then we went to Enlist. Enlist, yeah. Had Liberty Trade. And then we got Different to, mode of action. Different mode of action. And then we got Extend Flex as well. So then that was Dicamba plus your Liberty Extend. Which brought us three modes of action in one and a trait. lot of headache trying to spray all that stuff Ooh, yeah lots of lots of rules to follow and we're going to kind of go over some of them yeah i think we're going to stick with that extend and list and extend flex traits uh the good thing about these beans is that they're all round up ready yeah. that's about the only thing they got in common uh let's talk about extend first so extend is round up ready and it's also dicamba safe so we have extend max we can spray and other companies make other ones too but it's a safe in dicamba and it works great as a as a burn down with your pre. Um, it gets a little tough to spray as post though. A little, little tough to spray as post. Um, you gotta watch your adjuvants in there because some of those adjuvants can really start messing with it and make it volatile, you know, as volatile as these grain markets are. Uh, yeah, so when you do that, you wanna make sure you know what your neighbor's crops are gonna be, uh, which way the wind's blowing. But it's getting tougher because, you know, I don't think it doesn't get that windy here in Iowa or South Dakota or Minnesota. I mean, you know, if you get any questions, you can always call your farmer's co-op society agronomist, and he can help you with them. The rules you got to follow with the extend. Absolutely. The second one we're going to talk about is enlist. So enlist has your Roundup, your Liberty, and the 2,4-D trait. So that makes it a little easier to spray. Uh, it's also very good as a burn down with the 2,4-D option in there. Um, the the rules ain't quite as hard to follow on yeah. that. Um, your your soybeans are not quite as susceptible to 2,4-D, so you can get a little bit closer. Buffers are a little different. Um, good, good trade overall. You bet. And then it brings us to our third option, which is Extend Flex. So that is has the Dicamba, the Roundup, and the Liberty trade in there. So gives you that option to spray that Dicamba as a pre burn down, and we still get got a chance to spray it as post, but it also throws in that Liberty option as well, which is kind of a nice option later on in the year. Yeah, gives you multiple ways of, of going at it. If you can't spray the Extend, gives you the Roundup Liberty option which is always a good good choice. Uh, the downside is you can't spray Liberty and Extend at the same time because of some requirements of... Yeah, Liberty likes AMS and Dicamba says no AMS. No, no AMS. But if you guys have any more questions, uh, reach out to your local Farmers Co-op Society agronomist. It uh, should be in the link maybe above you. And, or maybe uh, it's below. Maybe it's below. Who knows what it is going to be this time. But thanks for joining us today. Have a great weekend. You too. You too. Blooper rail. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Tailgate Talks. I'm Eric Herder, and this is Ty- Tyson Martin Moss. He wishes. <laughs> you know, as volatile as these grain markets are, or your doggy coin, cryptocurrency, whatever you want, you know, it gets kind of volatile. To the moon. To the moon. To the moon. Don't hug me. <laughs> we stand back to back. There we go. I like it. Across your arm. There we go. To start with. That's the thumbnail. There we go. <laughs>